welcome back to my channel so obviously as you guys can see by the title we are talking all about my hair transformation that I got done about a couple weeks ago maybe even three weeks ago now by my girl Haya in Dallas and honestly y'all this was kind of a on the whim type of decision usually I take a while before I make drastic hair decisions but it's actually been about two and a half almost three years since I've colored my hair like drastically I've been doing like demi permanents and stuff of darker color because if you guys remember like three years ago I was doing a lot of coloring and even before then I always colored my hair frequently I've literally been blonde brown red purple oh cinnamon like a cinnamon red brassy color and black um i've done a lot of color in my hair life so i've actually been kind of off of that track for the last couple years because I saw that my hair got really damaged through coloring and I just wasn't liking my hair. And so I went back to my most natural color, which my natural color is really dark and almost black. And so I've been just been, you know, doing that color for the last couple years, but I wanted to switch things up. And so before the past few months, I guess, really, I've been saying how I wanted to grow my hair like obnoxiously long. And obviously I cut my hair. So we're not really doing that anymore to the same extent because as I was growing out my hair, as you guys saw, it was getting really long, but very flat up top. I didn't have the same shape as I loved like back when I used to have my hair shorter. And so I wanted to kind of get back to having more fullness up top and more volume up top, but still keeping my length. So we actually kept most of my length um, down here. Uh, we probably only cut maybe, maybe like an inch ish not even an inch off the bottom of my hair but we mainly just cut all around like all of this like up this this up here was as long basically as all of my hair was basically all one length so I was cool with that for a while and that's definitely like a look and is super gorgeous and bomb I loved my hair before I didn't change my hair because I didn't like what it looked like I changed it because I just wanted to switch it up so I decided to get my hair colored and at first I was only gonna do a cut but then I was like you know what f it let's just go all out let's get it colored let's like you know just change it up for real so I'm gonna be showing you guys a few of the clips from like the process right now capture my hair is hella long though it's crazy did you color it no this is the color okay this is your natural hair color? hell no oh, so okay. this this up here like all this is my natural all this is virgin hair which I've I haven't had virgin hair in probably freaking 10 years but this is all up until this point it's basically virgin. So like the lighter color. The lighter color is when I had like the cinnamon colored hair. Oh, okay. When it was like all the way yeah. to my root, yeah. like two two years ago. Was that two years ago? Yeah. Whenever we colored it. Remember yeah. I wanted to chop all my hair yeah. off? Oh you my god. I wanted to cut it like all of it. Cause it was just like <laughs> it was fried and just dry as hell. You guys, this is it. This is the last time you're gonna see my hair like this. I'm about to cut it, color it a bit. Hi is gonna work her magic. <laughs> Just gonna be amazing. Deja's here. She's gonna be recording. So you guys are gonna see what we come up with today. Well, we're just balayaging it, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do kind of like um, kind of like lighter brown shades, mm -hmm. and then just like with the cut, making it a lot more edgier with the cut, and then like the color I feel like will be different for you too, mm -hmm. compared to like the normal like reds and stuff that you've done. So yeah, I definitely yeah. don't want like brassy or like like too warm i yeah. do not want yeah i feel like more sandy yes kind of like a balance of both yes for like sure. ash and warm yeah. yeah 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 definitely but that'll be pretty i feel like it'll definitely be different for you yeah So yeah, basically this is what we came out with. 
I absolutely love it. I am so happy that I made the decision to get my hair really done and switch it up. I think it suits me so well. I just put on my caption on Instagram a few days ago, like my hair finally matches my spirit animal, which is a lion. <laughs> so I just feel, I just feel good. And I think that anytime a woman cuts her hair, you know, major things are happening. And I feel like for me as a person, I'm in a very, very transitional and like new chapter for my own personal growth. And so this haircut really made me feel like I'm finally choosing a hairstyle that's really for me and not for anything else or anyone else. Being a hair blogger, YouTuber, beauty guru, whatever you want to call it, I have to consider a lot of things whenever I'm changing my look up. And so for a long time, I had an element of fear when it came to changing my look or trying different things because I was like, okay, well, am I going to be able to still get the hair campaigns that I want to do? Am I going to still get, you know, the partnerships that I want? And I've been kind of sticking with this idea lately of centering my life around who I am and what I love instead of centering my life around a job or professional decisions or anything else really. And I didn't realize how much I had been doing that until recently where I was like, wow, I'm making a lot of decisions based off of fears in the workplace or fears in my professional life or fears from other people and what they would think or what they would say and you know even down to you know will mark still think that my i i'm sexy with this hair like you know all those things and i was like you know what f it all okay i'm gonna do something that feels natural and feels feels real for me and feels like me and I think that this hair change transformation is, is exactly that so I love it I hope you guys love it too let me know what you guys think down below and I will be posting my new hair routine which is how I styled my hair today also check the link down below you can visit Haya's website she's got merch on there she's got some really really bomb things happening for her and her brand next year a lot of y'all may not know that I was actually Haya's very very first curly hair client she started from the beginning doing her own custom technique doing her own you know kind of yeah technique on how to cut curly hair and how to work with curly hair and so over the past what three years that i've been going to her she has developed and grown so much and has gotten so good at what she does i mean i am so proud of her and the fact that she's been able to build a whole business around curls, which now I think she primarily only does curly hair, which is crazy to think about. So I appreciate all of you for, if you heard of her through me, thank you for giving her a chance. This is what I love the most about what I do is that I can collaborate with other powerful business women and help them achieve their dreams and help them get to a better place and to level up in life so i'm just so happy for her and again if you visited haya comment down below and tell me about your experience because we need to go ahead and let everybody else know why she's bomb and she's just a great stylist to work with and so yeah let me stop rambling on blah 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 but um yeah if you guys ever want to go see her or check her out her link is down below to her website also you can follow her on instagram and stuff like that and she is located in dallas but she travels frequently now so she might be in a city and near you in the near future but to sum it all up Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if there's any specific details that I didn't add to this video about the cut or the color specifically. And I will be sure to answer them down below or text Taya and ask her for more details on what she did and stuff like that. But until next time, you guys, I love y'all and be blessed. Bye.